Well, the state capitol commission has averted a potential lawsuit from lawmakers who like to bring their guns with them to work. Commissioners voted today to give those lawmakers special permission to sidestep the weapon detectors at the building's entrances. Our capitol correspondent Tim Skubik has been following this story now for months. He's here for you with the very latest. In the U.S. Capitol, lawmakers who carry a concealed weapon walk around the gun detecting devices while everybody else has to pass through them. Well, it's likely that the same thing is about to happen in Lansing, where the State Capitol Commission reversed itself and voted 4-2 to two to permit lawmakers with hidden weapons to enter the building, along with police officers, the FBI, and some maintenance workers. This state senator was prepared to ask the courts to block the commission from installing that ban if it did not back off. She is pleased that it has. I won't complain. I'll be very pleased if they turn, the, turn their decision around to allow us to carry. Two of the commissioners voted to keep the ban, suggesting that since there are 148 lawmakers, theoretically all of them could have guns on the House and Senate floors, and that would not be good. The actual number of legislators who carry heat to work is not known, but the guesstimate is somewhere between 20 and 30 or so on any given day. The new weapons detectors are now in place for the opening of the fall session just after Labor Day for school kids, other tourists, and the general public to pass through. But the senator contends the new policy is unfair because it gives lawmakers special treatment. But I do have a little bit of an issue where legislators get special treatment um, and the people I serve will not be able to have self-protection. There's a serious disagreement among lawmakers as some feel the presence of guns on the House and Senate floors makes the building safer, while others think it's simply more dangerous. Your view in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.